Good morning. This is the Ramblings of an Indiscipline Mind podcast for Monday, November 9th, 2015. Ah, Monday. How I've missed you. I'm lying. I <laughs> uh, had a pretty good weekend. Uh, got everything that I want to have in the man cave so far into the man cave. Um, I'm still, I'm still putting stuff away. I'm actually, I had a bunch of stuff on my desk, uh, and I'm actually going through that and I'm tossing a bunch of stuff that I don't need. You know, a bunch of papers from my college classes that I'm past. And so I'm trying to clean house a little bit, so it's taking me a little bit longer. Uh, the Packers lost, which was sad. And the game on the whole was, it's, it's concerning. I'm concerned about my team because, I mean, they started off 6-0. and And they've lost two straight, which, if I remember one of the graphics correctly, they haven't done since, like, 2011. And the defense was getting into shoving matches on the sidelines. So... Yeah, I'm not sure what's going on. They went into the bye week undefeated. And now they're unvictorious since coming out of it. They're playing Detroit and Lambeau next week. And, and you know, usually I would think that that's an automatic win, especially the way Detroit's playing. But now I'm not too sure. Here I thought I, I thought we had a team that was uh, poised to make a run for the for the Super Bowl, and now I don't even know if we'll make the playoffs if they keep playing like this. They're just totally flat. It's pathetic. But Michigan had a good win, so I guess I'm I'm batting 500 as far as my sports teams for the weekend. I got a new earworm today. Which surprises me a little bit. I um, I've got uh, the writings on the wall by Sam Smith, which is the title song. I, I, I don't know what you call it. It's, it's a James Bond song. It's not the title song because it doesn't. It's not named Spectre, but it's a song that runs during the title sequences of Spectre. So I don't. Yeah, you know, I guess you could call it the title song. To me, title song is when you know, like Goldfinger where the song shares the same title as the movie. I don't know. Maybe I should look that up and see what the actual correct usage is. It just seems weird to call it the title song when the titles are different. It kind of surprises me that that's running through my head this morning because I've only heard it twice. I watched the video when it came out um, a month or so ago, as I mentioned before, and I saw it uh, Saturday when we saw the movie. But yet, that's what's going through my head this morning. I'm kind of glad that it's... I'm kind of glad that that has happened because it gets that other song out of my head, whose name I will not say because if I... if I Even when I'm thinking it, I start getting... I start getting uh, that song again, so I don't even want to say it. I will probably have to do that as a crazy karaoke. And if you're wondering what that means... You know, I'm kind of, this podcast is kind of merging two web presences that I have. I've got the Penslinger site, which is my main podcasting and and uh, writing site, novel site. And then I've got this other site, which is just a blog, and I never bought a domain for it. So it's, it's the ramblings of an undisciplined mind is the name of the blog. And I've, I've had it for a while. Um, I, I haven't really used it as a blog, per se. I, I am cross-posting these episodes to it. But I, I did these things called Crazy Karaoke over the years. Um, both spelled with Ks. Well, karaoke is always spelled with Ks, but crazy is also spelled with a K. And so I've done, I've done various things where I've made up lyrics to existing songs and I find some MIDI accompaniment that sounds pretty good and I, and I sing my lyrics. 
So um, there are a few of those out there. There's also some ones that, like there's one that's um, uh, Pirate Face, set to Lady Gaga's um, Poker Face. That one was a hell of a lot of fun. I really enjoyed that one. Um, I've always wanted to do one with her bad romance, but I haven't quite figured out what the right lyrics are. But yeah, so I might have to do that in December once I get done with Nano and once I get done with my classes, do that for the other song. Because I just kept having lyrics pop into my head uh, for that thing regarding NaNoWriMo. So I just might have to do that. So, yeah. You know, one of the things I, I, yeah, I'm a bit of a Scrooge when it comes to Christmas. A little bit. I mean, I like Christmas. I like getting presents. I like giving presents. You know, I, I enjoy Christmas, but there are some things that I'm just, I'm just a bit of a Scrooge about stuff. And, you know, one of the things is, is, you know, how early we start talking about Christmas. I think it was Monday the 3rd. There's a local radio station here that plays Christmas music. And, now, and, they, and they started already. The daughter listens to it. And it's just like, no, thank you. Not interested. Uh, you know, personally, my rule is, is you know, Christmas doesn't, you know, this is, this is A, November. B, it's not the Christmas season because we haven't hit Thanksgiving yet. So as, as far as I'm concerned, and yeah, I get that I'm a traditionalist, the Christmas season starts the day after Thanksgiving. But yeah, you know, and yeah, I know the whole stores put stuff out early and that's that's fine, whatever. I don't I don't really wanna yap about that, but too much. But yeah, you know, we're seeing ads now. There, there's a Volkswagen ad that's running where it's showing people delivering Christmas gifts. And it's just like I'm not ready to look at Christmas gifts yet. Why are they showing me Christmas gifts? I'm not even thinking about Christmas gifts. And the, and the wife says to me, says, "Well, it's you know it's mid November. Well, it isn't quite, but it's getting close." So you know she does have a point, but it's just, it's just like. Eh. Want to think about Christmas all that much? So I don't know what that makes me. Maybe it makes me Scrooge. In which case, bah humbug. And beyond that, I'm reading. I'm rereading Mockingjay. I'm looking forward to the uh, second part of that coming out uh, in a week from this upcoming Saturday. So yeah, that should be fun. And then after that, we've got Star Wars to look forward to. So yeah, I, I'm, I'm some good end of the year movies this year. So I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing all of those. But uh, let's see, I'm almost in nine minutes. I think I'll probably let that go for today. It's a little, you know, little Christmas themed or not Christmas theme. And by the way, I'm not really in favor of turning November into the Thanksgiving holiday season. I don't think it really needs to be a... You know, not every holiday has to be a season. People have kind of turned Halloween into a season with their decorating the outsides of their house and all that BS. But I don't really feel the need um, to do that, so... As far as I'm concerned, there's no hot, no Thanksgiving season. It's just a day, and then the Christmas season can begin. So there, the world according to Keith. Anyway, um, I'll let that go for today, and I'll talk to you later. So, be seeing you. <laughs>